when I first had my son, I was almost $15,000 in debt and I was living on my dad's couch. Now I'm in my dream condo with my son, with my dream car, in an amazing relationship. In today's video, we're talking about mommy vlogger Jordan Cheyenne forcing her son to cry and act sad for a thumbnail. She's disappeared from social media. She deleted everything. Whatever is like currently going on in my life or, you know, a part of my life, I like to share on my channel. Last week, Jordan left a clip in her video accidentally. She called it a blooper. Is that really a blooper? I don't think so. This clip has gone viral. If you want to see the clip and hear Jordan's first apology, because she's apologized several times now. I have an entire video that I posted last week and I will link it in the description box if you want to check that out next. I have made a commitment moving forward to not include my son in any videos. I've even went back and took off about 20 videos that had myself and Christian in them. I will continue to do so. It's gonna take me a minute. I've been vlogging for eight years, but I have made the decision that is 100% the healthiest for my child and his mental health to be off the camera. Um, and I just want to let you guys know this as well. After eight years of vlogging, I am making the decision to take Christian completely off my channel. This is not, not because of the hate or the backlash I'm getting right now, which is absolutely fucking so much and terrible and death threats and things that I believe are so past the limit. I fucked up so fucking bad, you guys. I'm Jordan stated she's combing through her YouTube channel to delete all videos that have Christian, her son, in them. But as of today, her entire YouTube channel has been deleted. There's a lot of talk right now online about why she deleted her channel. And I think it's to prevent people from combing through her channel, picking it apart, reacting to her videos, and calling her out on things that she's done in her past. Jordan's Instagram account has also been deleted. Her website is still up. If you go to her website and click on her Instagram icon, it takes you to this Instagram account which is kind of strange. A lot of people are saying that her accounts might have been hacked. I had a huge talk with my family today and they're like, we love you and we want you to be happy and mentally healthy, but we're fucking disappointed. And I started crying because I am so disappointed in myself as well. I can't even, I cannot even tell you. And this is not just due to the recent backlash or people posting me. I posted an apology here on YouTube three days ago before these viral people even started posting me. For those of you who didn't see it, that's why I want to post this. I've done this for eight years, but I'm done posting my son. It will not happen again. Uh, for the foreseeable future on YouTube, I am done posting Christian. I'm gonna do the best I can to move forward and I wanna let you guys know that. I think we're all happy to hear Jordan say that she will no longer be exploiting her son on social media. Why did it take the public having to call Jordan out on certain things before she realized how wrong this is? She admitted this was not the first time she had Christian pose for a thumbnail. I am deeply sorry to my audience and my loving supportive followers that they saw a minute or two of such a poor horrible decision making on my part and that they now think that everything is disingenuous on my channel or that moment or that whole day we weren't emotional or we weren't being genuine which we were our new puppy rosie is still in the vet she is she has parvo she i'm hoping she makes it i don't even want to say the words that she's not going to make it but our emotions that day were genuine and i realize by me being fucking fake it proves or it shows, it makes you guys think that, well, what is real with her? Like, is everything fake? I totally get that. If I saw someone else do this, I would be like, that's fucking wrong. I am mad at myself. I'm so disappointed in myself. I had a huge talk with all my family today. All I can do is move forward, not include him in future content, take a step back from social media, reevaluate my mindset and what is reality and fucking learn and grow from this. I am so sorry. I am sorry to my audience, but really mostly to my child. We're all concerned about Christian. We're worried for Christian because we all know that this was not the first time his mom pressured him to act for the camera for a YouTube video. This is a huge wake up call to all YouTube mommy vloggers, to all family channels, to anyone who exploits their child online. Stop doing this stuff to children. They do not deserve this. Jordan's clip allowed us to see behind the scenes what really goes on every day in the lives of children who are being exploited on social media. And it was sick to see Jordan choose being a YouTuber over the well-being of her child. Her son was so upset. And instead of consoling him and turning off the camera and hugging him, she chose to get that thumbnail first. I am deeply upset with myself and I am so fucking disappointed in myself. I can't even tell you guys I am resolving this 
on the back end with my child. He is fine. He is safe. He is healthy. He loves being in the videos, but I know that he is not old enough to consent to that. I've made the choice moving forward to keep him off. Everyone can hold me to that. Trust me, I'll be fucking holding myself to it for the time being. I will obviously be off YouTube for a little bit. I will be doing everything I can to prioritize Christian's mental health. Jordan just said she's taking a break from social media and she's now going to prioritize her son's mental health. While we all think that is great, her son Christian should have been priority number one all along. Criticism, I, what I am not open to is people putting out my personal private information, sending death threats. That type of stuff is never, never okay. I'm not standing for it. It is absolutely terrible. I will take all the concern criticism, excuse me, in the world. And I'm so incredibly aware that I fucked up here so bad. I have, haven't been able to sleep, have had anxiety. I'm so disappointed in myself. And I am dealing with the situation personally and with my son and he's completely fine. He he doesn't even know what like a thumbnail is. He We had to talk about it after and he's completely fine. But I am absolutely horrified at myself, disappointed, disgusted, all the things that I'm sure you guys have already seen on the internet. This is, I am just so in shock that I let myself get to that level. I'm disappointed literally all i can do is learn and grow and make amazing decisions in the future for myself and the well-being and i don't want to fucking come on here crying or act like i want sympathy or anything i don't want any of that i'm so disappointed in myself and i have never been this upset with myself or disappointed or had this much anxiety over people messaging me death threats and things about christian that are so past the level of cyberbullying and harassment than i've ever experienced in my life i know we don't agree with jordan's actions the way she exploits her child the way she treated her child but that's no reason to send her death threats a lot of viewers think that she's going to go away from social media and come back and say i had to leave because of all the death threats and the threatening messages i received I'm taking the day, two days, three days, whatever, off social media to prioritize myself and Christian. I fucked up so fucking bad and I'm so upset with myself and I am being... This is a comment from Twitter. I will never understand showing your child breaking down on the internet. You're supposed to protect them. These kids that come from families who vlog everything get bullied at school all the time. Family channels shouldn't exist. Most of them have done this at some point. I agree with this comment. I think family channels and YouTube moms and dads who exploit their children every day on YouTube have definitely coached their kid in some way to pose for a thumbnail. We never get to see behind the scenes what really goes on, what parents really do to get that kid to pose for a thumbnail. Jordan let us into that world, and we now all know, we have proof, we have seen what it takes sometimes to get a kid to pose for a thumbnail, to act sad, to cry. We've all seen it firsthand, and to be honest, that image will never leave my mind. I will never look at family vloggers, YouTube moms, YouTube dads, anyone who exploits their child on YouTube, I will never look at them the same. I don't want to paint everyone with the same brush. I'm not going to say every family vlogger, every YouTube mom, dad does this because I don't have proof, but it's very likely that this is done behind the scenes all the time. So now we're going to look at everybody and question them and wonder if they do the same things that Jordan Cheyenne did to her son to their kids. Now that I get you. That Jordan has deleted all of her social media accounts except for her website how is she going to produce enough income to sustain her lifestyle and take care of her child she's a single mother will Jordan find another job will she come back to social media what does the future hold for Jordan not only Jordan but what does the future hold for family vlogging Will YouTube continue to allow the exploitation of children on their platform? Will they put up some guidelines? Will they make rules to protect children? How many more children do we have to see exploited this way, manipulated this way, coached this way, used? Also, their parents can continue to have a social media job, be popular online, have clout, and make a ton of money. Jordan said she is now going to prioritize her child's mental health. I think the mental health of all children on social media should start being prioritized and changes need to be made. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.